so I'm back again with another video. This time I am redoing one of my old videos. So four years ago I painted this canvas in my video, painting on a mini canvas. So the video where I painted this is probably one of my most popular videos. I think it has nearly 2,000 views right now. So I want to recreate it because clearly you guys loved it a lot. Um, well, I want to, you know, want to redo it and show you how I'm going to do it in my current style today. My style has changed a lot. I mean, I still do have the big eyes and the similar kind of face shape, but I think I've definitely improved a lot. As you can see, that the buttons have faded a bit. It's getting quite old. I think it's the paint still stayed as good as it was when I first did it, but the buttons have faded and obviously my style and my work has developed a lot since I did this one. So I want to recreate it. So I'm going to go get started. So I bought another canvas. This one is slightly bigger than the last one, but I don't think that's really going to be a problem. I'm just going to redraw the same character on it again. Um, and it's made from the same kind of papery material. So I'm going to be using watercolours instead of acrylic paint. I'm also going to be using very similar supplies. So I'm going to be using the same paintbrush, the Aquash paintbrush I used plus um, watercolours as well. Um, it is a different um, set of watercolours, but I don't think that's going to really make a difference. I'm also going to use a coloured pencil to draw out the sketch instead of pencil. I feel like the coloured pencil would work better, especially since the um, the normal pencil, it ran a bit with the, with the water and the watercolour, and I think it might have ruined it a little bit because you can see the smudges. It's not obvious at all, but I think that just using a coloured pencil will work a little bit better as it won't like muddy up the colours like the pencil would. I think I'm also going to use different um, fine liners as well. I'm going to be using um, ones that work well with watercolour and you can apply before you use the watercolour um, just to make it a bit easier um, and hopefully it will look better. <laughs> So I'm hoping I'll be able to see how my style has developed and see how my skills with watercolour and just generally drawing have changed as well. I have no idea where they've included this because if you look at it, it has no stand at the side so it can't actually stand up on its own. I guess you're meant to lean it against something but that kind of ruins the point of it and I think it's silly that they haven't allowed you to stand, stand up on its own because it kind of just defeats the point of having it. But anyway, I don't need this right now. So I'm going to be using the old one as a reference to draw my new one. This time, like I said earlier, I am using a coloured pencil instead of a normal pencil. Um, this is just so it doesn't smudge and so it's a lot nicer and cleaner. So now as I finish the sketch, I'm going to use a fine liner to go over the top of it. I'm using this one which is a Pigma Micron which I think works really well with watercolour because it doesn't smudge um, and it's water resistant so I'll have no problem with going over the top of it with watercolour later. So now I've finished doing the other girl, I'm going to stick these buttons on. These are very similar to the original ones. Um, unfortunately I don't have any super glue as well, so I'm going to be trying to use this PVA glue and I hope it's going to stick with this. So here's the final canvas painting. And here's the old one to compare. I think. I really like this one because I really like how it's a bit brighter and you can't see the smudged black lines as much as you can with that one. I also think the, think the fine liner I used worked a lot better as well. 
but I definitely think I still do like this one, just this one's a little bit different um, and you can definitely see how my style has changed and how I have developed as an artist. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll reply as soon as I can. I really enjoy doing this video, um, so maybe I could look into more of my old videos, like I could look through some of my old Paul McClay things, if anyone's interested in seeing something like that. Let me know in the comments below as well, because I don't really do anything like that nowadays, but I definitely think it would be interesting to look back at what I had made in the past. Anyway, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! So I've just finished filming this video and I've discovered that this bit actually pulls out um, so you can actually stand it up. I thought it was glued down. I didn't realise I could do that, but now I do. So there is a purpose to it and you can actually use it. Don't forget to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button.